Hello everyone, it's the Farmsome Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We're back with another map tour and today we are going to be looking at the quite frankly stunning Land of Italy from Edo Mod. Hello everyone, that's right, if you have been a viewer on my channel for a while now, you will know what high regard I held the Italia map in in FS19 and again when it was released for FS22. Well, Ido Mod is back and he is working in partnership with Sukaz Farmer, who created the land of Italy way back in FS13. It was highly regarded then and it has been brought back. The two have been working in partnership to bring this together for FS22 and the results are quite frankly, like I've already said, stunning. Now, we all know the Italia map and how wonderfully, wonderfully detailed it is. What's gone into these buildings and all of the uh, landscape and scenery is just second to none. There isn't another map like Italia in FS22. Well, there wasn't till now that is because we're back i mean look at these buildings they are absolutely breathtaking the detail the quality is out of this world um i i, I am speechless i've had a little bit of a look around this map before i pulled this vid together and and again once again knocked it out of the park there is nothing this is the standard bearer for maps in fs22 without a doubt the most beautifully beautifully put together map but we should probably go and have a look around it, shouldn't we? So there is our PDA. Now I have bought a few things to show up the icons, um, but as you can see, not a huge map. Some very small fields there, field four up at the top, um, pretty small field 30 down here as well. And 35, I think in the center there is probably our biggest one. Now to help you pick machinery that's probably appropriate for the map, not only on his wonderful website where you can download the map from, not only does he have the few prerequisite mods that you need for the map, but also a huge swathe of recommended mods if you want to play authentically or in a, you know appropriately to uh, this area of Italy. Um, a whole myriad of mods there that you can add to your mods download as well. Uh, really nicely done. Anyway, back to the PDA. We're going to have a quick look around. This is where we start up in the top corner. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because there's a lot of icons going on here at the moment. This is where we stop. I like the fact that we've got these little icons for the animals as well. So horses, sheep, pigs, cows, 
Um, and I think that's it down there. So um, we know each of the farms basically has got a specialism. Um, so we'll go around and we'll have a look at those now. So I think what we'll do, we'll try and go in a bit of a clockwise motion and try and finish up in the main farm in the centre here. But we'll try and take in as much as we can and um, just enjoy what is, quite frankly, one of the most stunning maps I've ever seen in Farm Sim. So this is the farm you start on in New Farmer mode. Um, and if we go around here, obviously got um, some nice buildings. Uh, you've got your machinery as well, which we'll have a look at in a little while. And here is your sheep enclosure, all custom made as well. So you can see your fill troughs there and things like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on uh, the triggers just so you can see them because they're different to anything I've seen before and I actually quite like them although I can imagine if you left them on the entire time they could get a little bit intrusive so let's just jump in flip those on and then we'll be back so we've switched on our interactive zone markers now there we go look at this isn't this nice shows you where you can uh, drop your water off where you can unload your animal feed unload your animals and in here you can drop your straw now like I said Really nice to show the actual whole uh, area that is set out for um, doing those, but it's quite intrusive, isn't it? I'm not sure I would have those on switched on the whole time. I think I maybe just switch them on if I can't find a trigger, work it out, and then turn them back off again. But I do like it, um, especially for new or um, beginner type players who uh, are still trying to find their way around the map. Uh, it's quite a nice touch. So there we go, back to basics again. Now let's quickly have a look at the new machinery you get and I love the fact that it's left lying around the yard all dirty so it doesn't feel out of place uh, we've got a forage harvester there, forage wagon beg your pardon um, a sprayer here, you've got a liquid tanker there you've got a few bits of machinery over there in the shed which we're going to head over to in a minute as well so here we are, this is what you get when you start just the one tractor, the Fiat this is in fact Edo Mods uh, Fiat as well. Very nice model indeed. So you will enjoy that. Um, the new Holland TX32 Harvester. You get one trailer. You get a normal header. Or <laughs> a normal header. A cereal crop header is what I mean. Um, you've got a plow here. You've got a cultivator. A disc carrot. As you can see, all relatively small stuff here. Uh, nice paro harrow as well. Uh, you've got a cedar, you've got yourself that hardy spray that we just saw as we walked past there. You've got an old style sickle bar mower, um, a very small pottinger wing rower, that um, forage wagon that we just saw there, uh, your liquid tanker and your header trailer. So no work, no corn header there as well, but he did recommend the Cressoni in the uh, uh, mods that you could add from a gameplay perspective, so that's quite nice. There you go, it's still lying around here, all covered in mud and looks well used, which is great. Now I'm just going to check, can you open these? You can indeed. So you've got your workshop there. And I'm guessing a slightly smaller, oh it's an office, there you go. Not much going on in there, maybe squeezer. I was going to say you could fit a car in there, you could not fit a car in there. Um, and there we go, we loop round the back here. Um, interestingly... There is a milking station here for the sheep. So I'm not sure if that works yet. Uh, we'll have to look at that in a uh, later date and see if actually you can provide sheep milk for uh, uh, production here on the map. We'll have a look at that in a little while. But let's head over to the other side of the road because um, this is where your storage points are. You've got a couple of tanks there for liquids more machinery in the shed so this is a road so we've got to be careful no cars coming um fuel tank there as well and these lovely traditional wooden silos inside the building there which you can uh tip into and load from uh, this side which is very nice and if you head around here this is our first cell point which is a nice restaurant very nice indeed I mean, the, just the models are out of this world. Really, really nice. So there you go. Nice. Into here. Beautiful. 
restaurant with views across the valley. Superb. Okay. Let's head out of here. Let's jump back into the PDA and look where we're going to go next. So next on the list of places to visit, we're going to look at the winery here. Um, so we'll jump there straight away and uh, have a little bit of tour down there and then we'll jump onto the, uh, the pics down here. So here is your winery again. Uh, beautiful, beautiful model. Just little touches like the poplar trees, which are very common in this area. The rake for leaves, the bicycle, the old uh, the old barrels, the hose pipe on the wall. Just no stone unturned when it comes to you know attention to detail. Look at those uh, look at those windows as well. They are phenomenal with the shutters on them. Gorgeous. Uh, this is where you tip your grapes once you've harvested them from the field. Of course, you're surrounded by grapevines on the field as well. So, you've got lots of uh, areas to uh, collect your grapes from. You can't open these doors. I have bought this, so we should be able to open these if that was available. So, as it's a production, I assume you would just um, tip your grapes in and in the future your, uh, your wine would appear there. Some storage over here if you've got specific machinery. You've got tanks over here as well for storing the wine in as well. Lots and lots of uh, nice touches that make it feel very special. A little workshop in the corner here as well. Very nice. Lovely little local winery. Gorgeous. Now just heading away from the winery here, I just wanted you to see just these lovely tree-lined roads. Um, we're at the far side of the map here again so that's the map border just over there the other side in fact i should pull up my hud shouldn't i so you can see it uh, there's the map border you can see the hatched lines there where it finishes uh, but again really clean lines there um and the map border around look at that just seamless really it doesn't feel like um you're just sitting on a two kilometer by two kilometer square that you could fall off at any point i always like that the lovely touch right um that is the pig farm just ahead of us so we'll zip down there and have a look at that next so here's our pig farm look at this again just every single building is an absolute masterpiece isn't it um again lots of little bits and pieces going on here a workshop wood store just the rubbish sitting waiting for the bins just really nice and here is our pig pen and I think if we go over here you can get access down to some of the fields look at this the clothes hanging off the windows and stuff like that so so nice so there we go rather large slurry uh, pit here of course they are pigs they do produce a rather princely amount of uh, slurry it looks like there's a couple there or a manure there's a, another one here yes So there's a one held in there so you can pump it up as well. That's nice. A little bit of storage here. We've got your liquid tanks there. For, I think I'm guessing they're for food, yes. Look, that's your feeding system. For the pig food, so you tip it in here and it's distributed through the building. You've obviously got your water there as well. And uh, if we go around here, we should be able to pop the doors and have a look inside. we go doors open and there we go lovely big area for the pigs looks like they've got an outside space as well doesn't look huge but um pigs don't need loads of space do they they're happy just sitting around all day let's just pop this so you can see the other side there we go a little bit of outdoor space for them very nice indeed from the pig farm looking over the valley there straight ahead that is one of the production points that is the oil uh, mill so we'll head over that way next and just have a quick look at that on the way past right rather than walking around the entire map i thought i'd get us a nice little run around for checking things out so gives us a chance to ride around the roads a little bit and get a little bit more of a feel for the map as well. So just rolling out onto the road here, we're going to run down around the edge of the pig farm there. 
You can see lovely buildings just popping up all over the place. We'll visit the town in a little while, but even just over there, out, outside the town, there's just a little tower there and things like that. We'll cross this bridge here, which goes over the river. Like I said, we've got our oil uh, oil mill just here, so we'll uh, we'll pop in and see that. Make sure I'm on the right side of the road. But again, just the detail, the road signs, the power lines, the uh, the landscaping. Look at the landscaping of that river. Custom um, vehicles as well. Look at that. Land of Italy written on the side of the bus. In the traffic, which is gorgeous. But this is um, the mill. If you've got olives or canola or something like that, this is where you would deliver it again can't say enough about the quality of the models. I feel we shouldn't be along here. It looks a bit more like a pedestrian path. But there we go. Back through here. And we'll head out again. We'll jump back to the PDA so you can just see what's what. There's our initial starter farm over there as well. So you can see it's it's a standard size map. Um, and uh, pretty compact. But I like it. So back to the PDA here. We are here. So we've done this a little bit. We started here. We've come all the way around here. We're going to jump over to here to look at the mill. Um, and then we'll head down and try and continue to do our little loop. So we'll head down here into the town. I want you to see the town here. Um, over here we have got um, an agrarian consortium. Easy for me to say. So basically that's a big sell point for... Uh, your grain and things like that. So we'll have a look at that. We'll have a look at the town. We'll keep going around, checking out the farms, and then we'll end up, like I said, on the main farm at the end. So out of here, I'm going to just let you see this, because there you go. That is the main farm there, which we'll head to in the end. But uh, if we do a right here, there's a little bit of construction work going on as well. Lots of, just lots of detail on the map, which is, which is so good. Doing some new constructions there. Now, we should be able to get around to the mill. It's a bit of a round-the-houses way of doing it, and my driving's terrible, but... Uh, through the water. And up to the mill up here. That can't be the only way in, actually. You can get... Um, you can not get to it through this road here. So that's good. But there you go. That's your feed mill. Again, another cell point. We to unload at. And get some money for your hard earned crops. Right, we had to open that by hand. Which is quite nice. We're going to head back out here because this takes us back to the road and um, we'll head down to the bottom corner. Here we are. We're going to run around the bottom of the town. I'm not going to go in there just yet. I'm going to go and show you the cell point first. But nice to just drive past it and you can see how nice it is. But then we're going to go up to the cell point just up here. Again, one of the big cell points on the map. There we go. we go another one with opening hours so it's 8 47 in the morning so we're, it is closed so let's just skip time forward a little bit shall we let's catch up with ourselves there we go nine o'clock in the morning and it is now open so we can go in and unload whatever they uh, buy here and just for clarity um they buy pretty much everything here all of your main crops uh, obviously not all of us because they go to the oil mill uh, but all of the usual crops are sold here a few options there for potatoes um, cotton again no selling points for sugarcane uh, which is not a surprise yes they literally will buy anything you want to sell them obviously dairy um, but lots and lots available to be sold here there we go nice Right, now we've done that, 
let's run back down and have a look at this absolutely stunning town. Village, you could call it. It's not, not very big, but it is beautiful. Uh, I am going to sneak down the wrong, wrong way down this road. Just to get to where we need to get to. Is it going to... Oh, there's the dairy there. Actually, we've just driven past the dairy. So again, another cell point there. Let's run up here into the town. So you're climbing up through this beautiful old town. Through the archways. Gorgeous. There we go. Park in the lovely town square here. Get out and have a look around. Now, of course, when you look at these posters here uh, and those brands, um, this is a PC-only map at the moment. But he is planning to push this out for all platforms at some point in the future, as you'll be able to see from the website. So uh, bear that in mind. While we're on the PC version here, there will be hopefully the opportunity to, um, to be able to see it on console in not too distant future um this is a nice touch as well um i believe these are people that support him on his patreon or have donated or or contributed in some way uh to the map um but nice touch that and very nicely and elegantly done as well i love that tremendous so there we go look a couple of nice little eateries And lovely, lovely views. I mean, look at this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to get annoying, really, by banging on about how tremendously attractive this map is. Right. Let's roll through here. Like I said, it's not a big place, so you're pretty much done there. There's another road out of here, which is what we'll take, because it's going to take us right around the edge of the map. These lovely white gravel roads that you find in Italy. Um, let's just jump back to the PDA, just so you know where we are. But it's quite hilly up here. But again, like I said, this is the edge of the map, and the detail and the quality of the edge of the map is really, really nice too. So there we are, down at the bottom. We're going to follow this road all the way round until we get to this kind of little sales area. We've got, um, we've got the sawmill uh, and the sawmill selling point. We've got the animal... Uh, uh, dealer here, we've got the shop here where you can buy new equipment um, and then we've just got to go up to the BGA here and the horse farm at the top there so we'll follow these roads around again, it gives you an idea for the size of some of these fields um, but this is lovely there we go, a lovely windy road through it's very hilly area, actually, isn't it? Quite steep hills, so if you've got a tractor, you need some power to get up some of these hills if you're hauling grain and things like that. But this is lovely. Over this little bridge over a stream there. Up over the top. It's the way that the, uh, the fields fit the contours of the land. So, so nice. Absolutely glorious. Right, here we are, coming down to, like I said, this little um, this little area. There's your animal dealer. Lovely to see the animals moving around in the yard there, like that. Your sawmill just through here as well. Again, the gate is closed. You have to jump out. Pop it yourself. Just a normal gate, really. We'll go through here. There's a sawmill. Love to see all those details there. Very nice. Storage as well, wood chips, things like that. Very nice indeed. Now this is probably a good opportunity while we're at the sawmill to show you some of the goods that you can produce on this map that you can't get anywhere else. So empty wine barrels, red wine barrel, white wine barrels, uh, empty bottles, firewood, metal parts, pastas, um, white grapes, uh, you've got pasteurised milk. I was right when I said sheep's cheese, so obviously they you can produce milk uh, from the sheep. 
Uh, red wine and white wine, obviously, from the winery. You've got alfalfa and alfalfa hay as a, an additional crop. And you have goat milk. So lots and lots of things to keep you busy there as well. Um, got corn flour as well, spelt, rye, corn stalks on top of everything else. Solid digestate as well. So that was a, a look like an, I'm guessing, Back at the pig farm, it looks like that was an aerator as well to give you solid digestate. And Scarto di Produzione Uva, I'm, I'm going to guess that's maybe waste from the production of wine. Somebody who's better at Italian than I may be able to tell me that. But very interesting, so much there in terms of different things. Right, out here, there's the animal dealer again. We're just going to turn down here. So there we go. There's the dealership. Love the fact that it's got real machines parked outside. Looks uh, very real. As you can head inside here, you can choose something to purchase. Let's buy something, shall we? Um, let's just buy a little tractor. There we go, a little massy. And he should appear around. Yep, there we go to a nice big space here for purchasing machinery as well. Very nice. Right. Let's go and have a look at the BGA and the horse farm before we go back to the main farm. We just roll along here just a few hundred metres and round back onto the gravel roads. And we're heading towards the BGA. There it is. Again, we'll pop out open that uh, oh open for us that time that's nice biogas italia here we've got a waybridge there you've got um a digestate pit there out in the open which is nice huge silage clamps here which is great um you can rock up as well and then tip there your nice tip point there to drop stuff straight into the bgas all the stuff you'd need Looks like a workshop over there with um, gas and things like that. These old stone or brick um, electricity substations, or I don't know what they are, connectors, but they're nice as well. Very in keeping. And then you're up over the bank of the hill here. Getting quite high up here, but we're going to head up to the horse farm now. Have a quick look at that. Hopefully they'll let us out. Thank you very much. And again, you can get a little bit of a feel for some of these fields and the roads and everything that's going on on the map. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous. All of the words. It's tremendous. Look at, I mean, look at this. Even the concrete looks good. Look at, I mean, just having this. And the detail, the attention to detail is off the scale. I love it. Amazing. Right, there's even a signpost there for the, for the horses. Now, the road does split here, so I'm going to quickly run up here. I know the horses, actually, if we go straight on, that's to the horses, but there is something up here, so we'll just run up and have a look at it. There we go. It's a little restaurant. So a cell point, little restaurant up at the top of the uh, map again. Lovely views over the valley. In fact, this is probably one of the nicest views of the valley I've seen so far. I can't see it over the over the corn stalks. Look at that. Get the corn cut. You'd have a lovely view there. Right back in the car and down to the horse farm. So we'll see you there. So rolling in here. This looks like it's seen better days. That roof looks like it's in desperate need of repair. But actually, if you go up here, look at the lovely cobbled texture there. Actually, if you go up here, there are your stables. Have a look. The stables here. Very nice. And then... Little equestrian centre. Look at that. Jumps and everything. Beautiful. Again, lovely buildings. Love it. Very nice. 
wonder where that goes. Oh, it must be a... Ah, uh, I wonder if that's... Um, a point for manure or something. Although horses don't produce manure, maybe he's uh, changed things. We do have the enhanced animal system as a required mod, so... You never know, do you? Right, let's just quickly jump into the PDA and I'll give you a little bit of a walk around of where we've been, which is pretty much the whole of the outside of the map now. So there we go, we're up at the horses here. Um, we started here at the sheep farm. We had a look around there. There's the mill there as well. We went round to here to the winery. Um, the pig farm is here. Um, that is the large sell point, which you can pretty much sell most things on the map at. There is the town there. A couple of, again, a couple of, uh, there's the dairy down at the bottom uh, and a pasta factory higher up. Um, we go round here. Um, we stopped here and we had a look at the um, sawmill. And we also had a look at the animal buy point and the shop just there. Uh, and then we headed up to the BGA here and then back up to the horses. And again, that lovely little restaurant at the top, Restaurant Belvedere. So now, nothing else but to just head to the main farm in the middle of the map. So here we are, just rolling up to the farm. And again, you can see there is your digestate or your slurry point. And there we go. Main farm. There's your big cattle shed there. I think we'll just park here and get out and have a look. There's your cattle shed there. With a slurry pit over there as well. Again, your milking parlour down at the bottom here. And looks like a workshop the other side of it as well. Automatic milkers. The Lely automatic milking system. There's your tanks for your milk there. And again, lovely old traditional buildings. Bit of storage around on this side as well. There's your uh, tipping point for your silo. So you've got a silo in there somewhere as well. Unload and loading points. What can we see in there? Is there any doors that we can actually see this? Or is it all hidden away? Looks like it might all be hidden away on this farm. Again, more houses just there. Beautiful. And then lovely roads up to the fields. And there is the biggest field on the map. Just here. And again, you can see it isn't even even the biggest field on the map. Not that big. I mean, that would keep you busy for a while. But like I said, it's a, it's a lovely mixture of kind of medium and small fields. So uh, smaller machinery. Definitely recommended on this map. Love these signposts as well. So even that signpost there saying you head this way, you can go to the horses. Ah, we do have uh, we have some doors here. Let's pop these and see what's in here. So again, there you go. You can see your uh, your bins in there for your grain. It's like three three sets of doors, so you can park some machinery in here if you want to. Not masses of space, but. Uh, Nice to see the armco there as well, so you don't batter into the uh, into the silos. Very nice indeed. So there you go. You've seen everything now. That is the entire map. Um, absolutely amazing. I am properly impressed with this, as I was with Italia. You know, I think now when you say Edo mod, I think everybody thinks of Italia and knows the quality of that map and. Um, he smashed it out of the park again so definitely go check this out i'm going to put a link to his website in the description there are high definition textures that you can download as well which he is charging a small fee for um but to be honest even without those this is a breathtaking map so if you're really into your detail or you're running it in 4k and want to see it the best it can be that's entirely your decision, but it should not detract from uh, your gameplay of this map, which you can download for free. So, for now, from me, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a beauty. Go check it out, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>